Okay, we look at example 27. Express 9 over x minus 1 times x plus 2 squared in partial fractions. We know that x plus 2 squared is a repeated linear factor. So, we can express the polynomial. So, we can express into partial fractions, which is the denominator already in the simplest form. The first one is a linear, so the numerator will be a constant. And then, for the repeated linear, we will express it like this, x plus 2. So, and then x plus 2 squared. So, okay. So, next step. We will equalize the denominator. So for the first one, a over x minus 1. So we will multiply top and bottom with x plus 2. So a times x plus 2 squared. So for b, the denominator is x plus 2. So I will multiply x plus 2 and then x minus 1. And then for C, I will multiply with X minus 1. Okay. So, the denominator is X minus 1 times X plus 2. Squared. X minus 1, X plus 2, squared. Okay, so the denominator will be disappear so we will get 9 equal to a times x plus 2 squared plus b times x plus 2 times x minus 1 plus c times x minus 1 okay so from here we can substitute so look at the if we substitute x is equal to negative 2 here and here, b and a will be disappear and then we will get the value of c. So that's why I will substitute x is equal to negative 2 in order to make the value of a e and b disappear. And then I will get 9 is equal to so negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So I will get the value of c which is c times negative 2 minus 1. So 9 is equal to negative 3 c. Hence the value. Therefore the value of c is negative 3. Because 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. And then I can get the value of a if I if I substitute x is equal to 1 so b and c will be disappear so when x equal to 1 so 9 is equal to a times 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 squared so 1 minus 1 is 0 so b will become 0 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and then c is equal to will become a 0 as well. So 9 is equal to 9a, 3 squared is 9, hence a is equal to 1. So for the third one, in order to find the value of b, I can choose any value of x. So let's say if I substitute x is equal to 0, so 9 is equal to a times x plus 2, x is 0, so 2, 2 squared plus b, 0 plus 2, I will get 2, times minus 1, plus c times negative 1. So now we already know the value of c and a, so I will substitute back. So a is 1. We don't know the value of b yet. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 
So C is negative 3 times negative 1. So I'll calculate this and I will get the value of B is negative 1. So we already got all the values of A, B and C, the value that we need. So we can write back the partial, the single polynomial into the partial fractions. So we get 1 over x minus 1. So the value of b is negative 1 over x plus 2. And then the value of c is negative 3 over x plus 2. So this is our final answer. So that's all for today. Thank you.